With almost 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see 30 ways Google Sheets can help your company uncover and share data insights, then stay tuned because here's a rewind. I'm Anu Srivastava, and I picked this rewind so I could tell you about all the clever tricks tucked into Google Sheets. This talk was presented by two product managers here at Google, Dan Gundram and Ryan Weber. They trade off as they talk tips and secret upcoming features. Shh. In one talk, these two covered 30 pro tips, offer six sneak peeks of upcoming features, go through three customer stories, and even run through three live demos. This talk is jam-packed and certainly worth watching. So let's talk tips. They break down the Google Sheets data journey into four phases. One, getting the data into the sheet, preparing that data, analyzing and visualizing, and last but not least, sharing and distributing. So these tips are bucketed into these phases with a bonus bucket for enterprise-ready collaboration tips. I can't cover all of them, so I thought I'd recap my favorites from each bucket. First, getting data into a sheet. The coolest thing here are the new and upcoming integrations with databases. Imagine how much simpler your life would be with a direct data connector to SAP, Salesforce, and BigQuery. Second, preparing the data. The new macro recorder lets you record repetitive actions and simply play them back over the new data. Also, this was one of the live demos. Third, analyzing and visualizing. These are technically two different things, so I'll give you two tips. To analyze data, pivot tables are uniquely powerful and have received a bunch of new updates to make it easier to see and explore your data, like grouping days into quarters or years. Then to visualize data, charts are getting some new features, but the best is that you can now make waterfall charts and sheets. Fourth, sharing and distributing. It may seem ironic, but I'm excited about the improvements and tips for printing spreadsheets. Sometimes you have to go offline, fully offline, like real life airplane mode. And it's nice to be able to control how your spreadsheet looks on paper. Finally, the enterprise ready collaboration tips. You know, the businessy stuff. My favorite here was that you can set expirations on share settings. So not only are you preventing version drift and keeping your data secure by keeping it from being an attachment, but you can now have shares auto expire after a set amount of time. This talk is fast paced and super informative and even comes with some insights into future features for Google Sheets. It is 100% worth watching. So if you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.